Hi everyone, time for a new tutorial for the Offshore Corpta community. We'll discuss offshore banks and their benefits. As a bonus, we'll also mention a few popular banks amongst offshore entrepreneurs. Offshore banks have become popular for the wrong reasons, scandals involving celebrities that are trying to avoid tax. This is not related to the actual institutions, but to the people breaking the law. An offshore bank is an institution that accepts foreigners. Using an offshore bank implies banking overseas. It makes no difference what country you choose or where you live. Each bank has its own rules and requirements. There are several benefits, so let's have a look at some of them. Since your government is the biggest risk to your money, diversifying money abroad is a great idea, especially if you have hundreds of thousands. Then, offshore banking allows protecting your assets too. Imagine living in the USA, 80% of the world's lawyers live there because there's a lot of action. One in 12 adults faces a trial at some point, so protecting your assets in an offshore bank account helps. What about making some money? Some banks will offer higher interest rates, so you might as well save your money abroad for a profit. Think about your current system too. Going abroad may allow you to use a flawless banking system. Foreign currencies are not to be overlooked either. This is your opportunity to diversify your currencies. If you have money abroad, you can use it when in need of medical care, for example. To top everything up, all of these benefits give you a well-deserved peace of mind. Now, opening an account abroad is not that difficult, but more challenging than opening one where you live. There are different requirements that you're probably not too familiar with, and the fees and taxes are also different. Just like everywhere else, there are more types of bank accounts out there. Savings accounts are the most popular ones. They may have fixed or variable interest rates. These interest rates vary widely from one institution to another. In terms of currencies, you will usually get an account in the official currency of that country, but you can also choose a multi-currency account and diversify money a little. Just research the market and do your homework up front. Opening an offshore bank account is not as difficult as it may seem. You don't have to be a millionaire. Just check the bank's requirements, usually an ID, proof of address, or a utility bill, and pay attention to the KYC requirements as well. Despite the misconceptions, offshore bank accounts are perfectly legal. The fact that some people use them illegally is a completely different story. As long as you follow the rules, there's nothing to be worried about. Moving on to banks, we promise we'll share some of the most popular and accessible offshore banks. Bank Frick is established in Liechtenstein and is great for wealth management, fund development and administration, among other services. The Al Salam Bank in Seychelles offers a wide variety of services and most of them respect the Sharia law. The Amiria Bank in Armenia is one of the leading names in Europe for retail, corporate and investment banking. The list also includes Dukaskopi in Switzerland, the Gibraltar International Bank, the Liberty Bank in Georgia, FinBank in Malta, and the NI Bank in Mongolia, among a few others. You can find longer reviews and the full list in our forum guide. The guide also analyzes the legal profile of the offshore banks, associations with money laundering scandals, safety standards, and tax implications. So tune in to learn more about offshore banks, and thanks so much for watching this video.